Hi, first graders. This is the video for Tuesday, May 26th. Let's start off with our points. Okay, so this is the last announcement for the team points and for the winners. We don't have any more points and any more um, teams. You can continue to do rocket math and freckle throughout the summer just to keep your mind sharp and keep learning and growing. And if you complete rocket math, you will still get a tag from the office, okay? All right, so keep working on that. So we have um, Nevea, 30 freckle points and 20 rocket points. Aiden K, 10 freckle points. Ethan M, 30 freckle points, 10 rocket points. Kylie, 10 freckle and 30 rocket. Daniel, 30 freckle. Um, we have the astronauts and stars ended with 66 points and the comets and rockets ended with 410 points. Now, um, so the comets and rockets will get prizes. They will get the prizes when you guys come and pick up um, your school stuff this Thursday. You're going to do a drive up and you're going to come pick up your school stuff this Thursday. Um, like your science journals, your art projects, your writing, things like that. Okay? All right. Um, not new schoolwork. You're not picking up new schoolwork. Okay? All right. So then what are you going to do today? Today you're going to do the animal classification for reptiles and the directions, the lectures at the end of this video. Okay, you are also um, gonna work in this animal fun packet. There's seven pages, so you can do three to four pages today, and you can do three to four pages tomorrow, okay? So just split it up however you want. All right, now, um, you also have this packet in the work you picked up. It's a shape one. We're gonna do this one together on Zoom today at one o'clock. You're not gonna do your math book today. We're gonna do this one together and have a little fun activity together um on zoom so you're gonna need this for zoom and you're also gonna need a pencil and an eraser okay all right thank you this is the animal classification for reptiles okay so some examples are um we should touch on some examples and that are those are snakes turtles alligators, and lizards. Okay, and breathe. How do they breathe? Okay, reptiles have lungs to breathe, so, and some can even hold their breath for hours, all right? So, we're gonna do, they have lungs, to breathe and some can hold their breath for hours. Okay. All right, the babies. They usually lay eggs and sometimes reptiles give birth to live young. So some of them lay eggs, most of them, but I'm sorry, most of them legs, but some of them give birth to live young. So we're gonna write usually lay eggs, but some give birth to live young. Now the blood, um, the reptiles are cold blooded. Um, their body temperature changes depending on the outside temperature. Okay. Temperature changes depending on outside temperature.
Okay, the skin. Their skin, they have scales and um, they have very dry skin. So scales with dry skin. And a lot of them shed their skin as well. Okay, lives. Where do they live? Some live on land, others in water, and some live on both land and water, okay? So we're gonna write some on land, some on land, others in water, and some live on both land and water. Okay, so since these guys are cold-blooded, then we're gonna use the cold-blooded, I'm sorry, the cold thermometer, and I'm just gonna color about two up. Oops, I think my camera might be shaking because it's on my table and I'm kind of shaking it a little bit, so don't worry, I'm not having an earthquake in my classroom. It's just that my camera is set up on my table, so shaking it right there. I'm sorry about that. And then you're going to color that. And then you're going to get any color. You know, I like to use brown for these things. Once again, my camera might be shaking and I'm sorry about that. It's giving you like a little 3D effect, I guess. Hopefully none of you are getting dizzy watching this from all the shaking that my my camera phone is doing. Okay. And that's it for the um, reptile animal classifications.